G'day fellas, here we go with a special Japanese beer that I've just seen today. I think I recall seeing it in Japan. It's the Super Dry SA Dry Premium, 6%. And uh, if you can tell me what that means, you've got some katakana on the side. So if you can read katakana, probably means it's double hopped or double malted or something. Doppio Malto, something like that, I'd guess. Look, that pulls off a really nice colour and a beautiful head. You know these, Jap you know these Japanese beers are pretty good. Look at the head on that one. I don't know if you can see it. I've got the camera to um, have a look at the head of that. It's lovely, isn't it? That's just gorgeous. You know, just trying to set up the camera somewhere different. Just getting sick of looking at the same fucking thing all the time. Anyway, we've got the magic fish here today. Just have a look at that. I'm going to try this beer. It's holding its head. That's a nice beer. You like a sahi? You're gonna like that, I reckon. It's um, still not overly heavy. A little bit more flavour, a bit more depth of flavour, a bit more malt, but not much. It's still super dry. Yeah, that's a nice drink. So if you see that one, it's the gold can. That's the super acai. You want to get into one of them? Say so dry premium, the premium acai. Starting to get amongst it now. You ever go to Japan, they've got the most beautiful snacks. You know, you can walk down the street and you can drop into a sort of like an open, you know, the front sort of open to the street, maybe have a couple of uh, these Japanese calligraphy or some picture over the front door and you walk in and it's a sushi bar. And they'll be chopping it up fresh and you just order straight over the bar, you get the yellow wasabi, it's all fresh, it's not green. And you just pick out, uh, yeah, and you've got all your other snacks, your croquettes. So if you go into a bar in Japan, they've got all these little snacky poos they bring out for you. And you eat the croquettes and... Uh, all different flavoured croquettes. Oh, my favourite's the crab. The crab and cheese sometimes they'll advertise it on their menu. And we had, I don't know, we must have eaten 40 of them, you know, in a month in Japan. We just kept ordering them, you know, every second meal you go, oh, we'll get some croquettes with that as well, the crab ones. And, you know, you'll get the other stuff. Oh, yeah, I love the Japanese snacks, beautiful. Raw fish, you know, girls, if they're cooked and made properly, they're just delicious. There's a little snack, great for beer. And, you know, they have other things over there. You have the soya beans, so you steam them and do different things with them. They're really yummy too, you just have a few of them. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy Japan. If you get your ass over there, go to Yadanaka, that's where the snow monkeys are. Well, they're probably in a few places, but there you can go and see them, and they jump in the in the hot springs. Oh, it's fantastic! They call them onsen, onsens over there, and they have fresh spring water coming off the mountain that's uh, warm from the volcano, the volcanic activity. So, you get these hot springs everywhere. It's just yeah, you know, unbelievable. You stay in a a little raya can right on the the mainstream and you know you've got your own private bath and it's huge oh, it's unbelievable all right i'll leave you with that cheers fellas get into the asahi premium dry premiums they're delicious all right cheers